hello. Um, I'm going to show you, I think we're calling it short front wrap cross carry, and it's tied at the shoulder, and I like to tie it with a slip knot so you can continually tighten. So I'm using a size four. It's actually a short size four, but you could use, uh, depending on your size, three, four, five. Um, I'm going to start with the tail on my shoulder like this. I want about this much hanging down because once you tighten it, it'll come down a little bit more. Or if you're working with a shorter wrap, you want to work with a shorter bit over your shoulder. Um, you can do this while holding the baby, but I'm going to show you how to do a little bit of the pre setup first. So then you bring it down across your back and under your arm. And you want to make sure you're not twisting it at the back. Sorry for the having to be on the half bed. Um, and you bring it back around under the other arm. And then, still making sure it's not twisted, you bring it up and over your other shoulder. So you have a short tail coming over your shoulder, the pocket where you're going to put your baby, and the long tail coming over your other shoulder. So this is basically exactly the same as front wrap cross carry, but you start with a shorter side on this side. Are you talking to me? <laughs> no, I'm talking to the video. So then you grab your baby, and this is Eleanor, and she is eight weeks, nine weeks almost. So then you bring your baby through the pocket. You bring it up. Depending on your baby's age, you're going to bring it up to their neck or tuck their arms in if they are arms in babies, which you would want to do if they're small. And then you're going to tuck your seat. And there is people that like to make the top rail tight first. You can do that. Do what you're most comfortable with with front wrap cross carry. Um, all right, so then tucking her arms in, I'm going to pull slack out of the top rail first and then the bottom rail and make her seat nice and squat. Tighten on this side too, top and bottom rail. And then I'm going to work out the rest of the slack through the wrap. And then I'm going to hold this side once I've done that um, between my arm and then her holding her on the, this side. And then work with this side and make sure you're not getting your wrap twisted, which I think I might have. There we go. And top rail and the bottom rail, making her nice deep seat and then through the wrap. Then you're going to take this side that is the long side down under her bum and you're not going to cross it under either leg. So it's going to go down, hooking under her bum and then up. Then to make your slip knot, you're going to go across this tail. You're going to bring it under, and then there's going to be a little spot here. You're going to bring it up through there. So you've looped it around and brought it up like that. You're going to drop it straight down so you're not going back around this one. So straight down over top of the crop first pass. Tuck your hand underneath. Hold on to the part coming over your shoulder. Bring it under your hand. So you're kind of looping your hand in. And then you can grab, let go of that over the shoulder one. Grab it and pull it through. And that is a slip knot. And there's lots of really great slip knot tutorials. This might not be the best one because it's not super close. And then you can pull out any slack from right there. And that's the carry. So it's two shoulder, but nothing around your waist like a full tied at shoulder front wrap cross carry. So it's just hooking them under there. And then you can tighten and loosen for breastfeeding if you want. So you Loosen a little bit and then they can sink down a little bit and breastfeed.